just had to come outside to show you that beautiful sunrise. It's so lovely. I'm half asleep. Fresh air is waking me up though. Good morning all. Love her. Love you. We love him. Bunny, 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 <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. I love you all. Um, <laughs> that was ridiculous. Cut that bit out. I've um, just been running around doing some errands, fancy, <clears throat> and um, so I've popped to the nurse. Some uh, needles and syringes uh, because he's a drug addict. It's not true. I have to give him monthly injections for his. Um, he has a genetic. It's Malcolm. Oh, I'm sorry, I've had a gassy drink. <laughs> it's making me do little bubbles. Um, Bill has a genetic condition which affects his hormone production so he needs top-ups of hormones so I give him an injection once a, uh, once a month so I've just been to collect some supplies for him um, I've been to the post office to pay in this bird of prey buzzard um, I've been to the post office to pay in some money into Bill's charitable school account did you see the state of that minibus? We are going to get a new minibus. We are going to do it. I'm going to get my act together and get going with my raffles. I am. I haven't yet, but I will. Sorry, it's so bouncy. I can't do anything about that. I might have to re-record all of this. Uh, yeah, I went to the post office paying a load of money and apparently our account is the only account that you can't pay in money with a paying in book over the post office counter. So I'm going to have to get onto the blower and get a paying, paying in card for the account. We don't want an actual cash card. We need to keep the account as secure and um, sort of safe as possible. So. We need, the, the checkbooks have to be signed by two people, so there's dual responsibility. Um, what else have I done? I've been to the chemist to pick up my prescription. I take citalopram, 20 milligrams a day, because I just don't make enough serotonin in my brain. And despite attempts to not take the medication because I'm pretty sorted in my head I'm, pre I'm pretty kind of I've dealt with my demons doing all right quite I'm quite pragmatic and I don't really have any terrible self-esteem issues or I can't, I can't think of any of the words but even so I still pardon me that's my car. I still suffer with um, my mood. And I'm actually a really happy, jolly person. So for me to be down in the dumps, it's just that isn't normal for me. It's not my default setting. So it's, it's a struggle for everybody around me when I'm not well. It's a big struggle for me. So I picked up my prescription and I went to the post office, went to the nurse, I forgot to take, my friend had a birthday at the end of January and I still haven't sent 
a parcel off. Um, I've got some wallpaper I need to return. I forgot to take that as well. So I'm not doing particularly well. Now I'm going to go back home. I am back home. I'm going to go in and I've got a friend calling in for a cuppa to talk about looking after the dogs, hopefully, when I, we go away in a couple of months and look after the house like usual and um and then and i'm gonna try and finish painting the kitchen table and chairs oh i need to get my sander out of the garage that's good that i've been chatting about that right so right so actually Sanding, painting, and waxing. And, um, <laughs> I'm still going. I'm getting there. It's coming along. Just been out on the dog walk, and um, this had fallen down into the road. And I just loved it. It's just a bit of fir tree. It feels really weird. It feels like plastic bristles. Anyway, I've washed it and I've put it there because I think that'll look nice with my pretend candles when they're on. <sighs> I'm boring today, aren't I? I'm so impressed with this paint. It's amazing. The finish is unbelievable. I'm going to chat to you, aren't I? Carry on painting. I've been test knitting the Whitmore sweater, as you know, because it's been on my vlog a fair bit in the evenings. Um, it's a pattern out today by Taylor S Studio. It's Amy, my mate, and um, I'm knitting it in dandelion and dogwood yarn. Um, I think it's their merino base and their Cereal pack. <laughs> Dogs are just barking because Bill's come home. Um, the merino and the cereal packer base, uh, the latte colourway is gorgeous. You can't decide if it's beige or pink. It's beautiful. Um, I have knitted all the important bits that were needed to be knitted, test knitted, to check that all the maths was correct and now I'm simply knitting the stocking stitch oh thanks Bill um, on the sleeves and the body oh, whoops um, but I'm a really slow knitter so although I've I've done what Amy needed the important bit it means I wasn't ready for launch day today which is such a shame but the Whitmore sweater is on the number one What's Hot page. So that's amazeballs. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it got to top 10. Um, so exciting. Bless Amy. She's been WhatsApping our group today and um, just been so excited, especially seeing her pattern featured on the same page as a Andrea Maori pattern. Who's her idol? How lush is that? Um, I'm going to turn my hair because it's really annoying. Okay, I'm going to continue with this painting. Then I need to think about food for the family. And uh, it's been a really sort of Go 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 day today, but I couldn't even tell you what I've been doing. It's just been one of those one of those days. Not unpleasant. I mean, I have a really lovely life. Obviously, you only get to see the really charmed parts of it. You get to see the twenty minutes of the good bits. I don't show you the bad bits or the boring bits. But um, I don't know why I started there. Bill needs to talk to me, so I'm going to go now. 
Oh, and we had a request to see Bill in his new smart yeah. haircut. We smell weird. What do you mean I smell weird? Uh, ow, ow, ow. What do you mean ow, ow, ow? I hurt my legs. What's the matter with your legs? Look at the camera, Bill! Look at the camera! <laughs> Look at the camera, Bill! <laughs> what do you mean, old oh, mum? <laughs> Bill? Yeah. Please, may I have a cuddle? No. Please? No. Do you want to make mummy happy and give me a cuddle? Bill! <laughs> 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 Made you giggle though. I'm really weird. I have finished painting the majority of this and sanding and waxing the top. Um, colours aren't showing very well. They look really dark in this light. I need to do a bit of touching up tomorrow. And oh dear. I just put my foot in the dog's water bowl. Oh my thighs! <laughs> oh, I'll finish this job tomorrow and then I'll review the colour because I'm not sure about it. I like the top tabletop bleached look though. Um, I've just picked up Ted from school in the rain. It was horrible and dark and I could hardly see. I think I'm going to have to stop driving in the dark. Because I'm an old lady. And now I need to conjure up something to eat. What would you like to eat? No idea. Are you feeling a bit jaded, my love? Mm -hmm. Did you go out till late last night, my love? Mm -hmm. Did you eat lots of lovely food? Mm -hmm. And have a little bit of wine? Mm -hmm. And did you end up having espresso martinis? No. No? Are you sure? You're not feeling your best, are you? No. You can't even put your vlog face on, can you? No. Do you want to tell me to push off? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Toby and I are going to have a little gin and tonic. Um, James and Rachel treated me to a um, um, an afternoon at the Gin Institute in London. Rachel and I went along. It was a um, really good afternoon. It was the weekend before she had her riding accident. And the guy there said the best tonic water that you can get, even nicer than Fever Tree, is this stuff. I don't know if it's the best, but it is really nice. And it's really cheap. So there we are, it's Friday, chin chin. I'm going to sit here, admire my handiwork, ignore the fact that the cushions need to have their covers back on and be tied onto the chairs. I'm going to ignore Ted's school bag there. I'm gonna drink my drink. And I'm gonna smooth the dog and wait for the timer to go off to tell me that the oven chips are ready because tonight I'm not cooking because I can't be asked. <laughs> That's what I say to it. I wish we were having a takeaway, but neither of us can be bothered to go out and get it. Uh oh, no, oh. not on this chair. No, not on this chair. <laughs> no, right, get down. Get down. I'm just trying to drink my drink in peace. She has just knocked it out my hand and it went all over the dreamy chair. <laughs> I look like a psycho. I'm a psycho. What a shame. I'm not enjoying my drink. Over Christmas, we ate and drank a lot. Since then, I've been cutting back, cutting back. And I um, haven't really had much in the last three weeks at all. I think I've lost the taste for it, which is good news. 
But how do you even know it's a Friday unless you have a nice little drink, eh? <laughs> yeah. What, what's going on with you, Bill? Well, I'm stuck. You're stuck? Yeah, I'm crippled in my back. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You're fine. No, I've just crippled your toe. You haven't crippled your toe. And you're not crippled in your back. Come on. I'm glad it's like that anymore. It's bedtime, Bill. I'm stuck. You're not stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Bill. Come on, love. Use your legs. I'm up. <laughs> See ya. He does look like Omar. Sorry for you. Oh my gosh, TV. <coughs> Why would Mo Sarge? <laughs> <laughs>